Approximately 90 million years ago, Antarctica was vastly different from its current icy and barren state. It was a thriving tropical rainforest, inhabited by a diverse range of species. However, as time progressed, the once lush flora and fauna disappeared, leaving behind a frozen tundra. Even today, only a few resilient species can survive in this harsh environment, and it remains the only continent with no permanent human habitation. Despite its desolate nature, Antarctica continues to surprise us with new discoveries that challenge our understanding of the Southern Hemisphere. From bizarre compass readings to blood falls, this frozen land has revealed 15 fascinating discoveries that have the potential to change our understanding of history. Number 15. Compass Fail, the South Pole. The Earth's magnetic field plays a crucial role in aiding navigation, but there is one place on our planet where compasses fail to work, the South Pole. It is the southernmost point on Earth and is located at the center of the continent of Antarctica. Despite its remote location, the South Pole has captivated scientists, explorers, and adventurers for years. One of the most intriguing aspects of the South Pole is its magnetic field, which is the primary reason why compasses and timekeeping devices do not work in this region. The Earth's magnetic field is responsible for guiding compasses and other navigation instruments. However, at the South Pole, compasses are rendered useless. This is because the magnetic field lines converge at the pole, making it impossible for compasses to provide accurate readings. Instead of pointing towards the North Pole, the compass needle will point towards the ground, making navigation extremely difficult. Moreover, the South Pole has no official time zone. Unlike the rest of the world, which is divided into 24 time zones, the South Pole uses New Zealand time for logistical purposes. This means that if you were to stand at the South Pole, you would be in every time zone at once. It is a strange phenomenon that has perplexed scientists and adventurers for decades. Another reason why timekeeping devices do not work at the South Pole is because of its location. Because there are more than 24 hours in a day at the poles, timekeeping devices cannot keep up. At the South Pole, the sun rises and sets only once a year, and during the summer months, it remains above the horizon for 24 hours a day. This means that there is no way to measure time accurately, making it difficult for researchers and explorers to keep track of their activities. Number 14. UFO Crash Landing in recent years, the Internet has been abuzz with the discovery of a strange object in Antarctica. An Internet user claimed to have stumbled upon a possible UFO crash landing site while exploring Google Earth. The images showed a mysterious oblong shape in the snow, sparking speculation that it was extraterrestrial in nature. However, not everyone is convinced that the object is a UFO. Some experts believe it could simply be a rock formation that was shaped by natural processes. They argue that Antarctica is a harsh environment, where extreme weather conditions can create unusual geological formations that may look otherworldly. Despite the skepticism, the UFO theory has gained traction among some enthusiasts who believe that the object could be evidence of extraterrestrial life. Some have even gone so far as to suggest that the Antarctic region is a hotbed of UFO activity, pointing to other sightings in the area as evidence. In this next image, an unusual object resembling a flying saucer has been spotted, captured by a group of unidentified researchers in the Southern Hemisphere. However, the secrecy surrounding the source of the photo has raised doubts about its authenticity, leading some to dismiss it as a hoax. Despite this, there are those who are convinced that there may be numerous UFO sightings in the Southern Hemisphere that go unnoticed and unreported. Could this image be proof of extraterrestrial activity in one of the most remote and mysterious regions of the world? Regardless of whether the object is a UFO or a rock formation, the discovery highlights the importance of exploration and discovery in our world. Antarctica is a remote and inhospitable place, but it holds many secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Number 13. Meteor Discovery Antarctica is a treasure trove of scientific discoveries, and one of the most exciting finds in recent years has been the discovery of meteorites hidden away for thousands of years. The freezing conditions and dry climate of Antarctica make it an ideal place to find meteorites, as they are well preserved in the ice and snow. But how did these meteorites end up in Antarctica in the first place? 
It all starts with the way that meteorites travel through space. When a meteorite enters the Earth's atmosphere, it begins to burn up due to the friction caused by the air. Most meteorites disintegrate completely during this process, but some manage to survive and make it to the surface of the planet. These surviving meteorites can land anywhere on Earth, but they are more likely to be found in remote and unpopulated areas like Antarctica. When a meteorite lands on the ice, it becomes buried over time as more snow and ice accumulate. The slow movement of the ice sheets then carries the meteorites towards the edges of the continent, where they can be easily found. Scientists are particularly interested in studying meteorites because they are some of the oldest objects in the solar system and can provide important insights into the formation and evolution of the planets. For example, the discovery of a meteorite called ALH 84001 in Antarctica in 1984 led to the discovery of evidence for ancient microbial life on Mars. There was also another heaviest space rock ever discovered on the continent, weighing 17 pounds. In fact, over 45,000 meteorites have been found in Antarctica, which is more than half of all the meteorites discovered worldwide. But finding meteorites in Antarctica is no easy feat. Scientists have to endure extreme weather conditions and spend long hours sifting through ice and snow to find the precious rocks. In recent years, however, they have been using new technologies to make the process easier. One such technology is called Landsat Satellite Imagery. This technique involves using high-resolution images taken by satellites to identify areas of Antarctica that are more likely to contain meteorites. By analyzing the images, scientists can look for patterns in the ice and snow that indicate the presence of meteorites. Another technique involves using drones to survey large areas of Antarctica quickly and efficiently. By flying over the ice and taking high-resolution images, scientists can identify areas that are more likely to contain meteorites and plan expeditions accordingly. Number 12. Translucent Fish in 2015, an exciting discovery was made in Antarctica. A team of scientists led by Kristen O'Brien found a unique species of fish called the Antarctic ice fish. These fish are known for their translucent bodies and blood, which is a remarkable characteristic that sets them apart from other fish species. The Weddell Sea, where these fish were discovered, is a hostile and icy environment where temperatures can drop to minus 2 degrees Celsius. The ice fish is among the most amazing creatures found in the Weddell Sea, where researchers discovered an entire colony of around 60 million fish. Antarctic ice fish is a fascinating species that have adapted to life in one of the harshest environments on Earth. They have no red blood cells and no hemoglobin, the protein that binds oxygen to the blood. Instead, they have a clear blood plasma that allows oxygen to diffuse freely through their bodies, giving them their translucent appearance. This adaptation makes them well-suited to their icy habitat, where oxygen levels are high but temperatures are low. Kristen O'Brien and her team were intrigued by these unique fish and set out to study them in more detail. They conducted a series of experiments to determine how the ice fish were able to survive without hemoglobin. They found that the ice fish has larger hearts and more blood vessels than other fish, which allows them to pump more blood and oxygen through their bodies. This adaptation is critical to their survival in the cold waters of Antarctica. These fish have evolved to survive in an environment that would be deadly to most other species, and they provide us with valuable insights into the processes of natural selection and evolution. Number 11. Wreckage of the Endurance In 1914, Sir Ernest Shackleton set out to lead an expedition to cross the Antarctic continent, but his ship, the Endurance, never made it to its destination. Instead, the ship became trapped in pack ice and eventually sank, leaving the crew stranded on the ice. For years, the wreck of the Endurance remained lost to the icy depths of Antarctica. But over a century later, a team of researchers and archaeologists located the sunken remains of the Endurance in the same spot where it sank. The discovery was made using advanced underwater technology that allowed the team to scan the seafloor and locate the wreckage. The Endurance is a legendary ship, renowned for its ill-fated journey and the incredible survival story of its crew. The discovery of its remains is a significant milestone in the history of polar exploration, 
as it provides a unique opportunity to learn more about the ship and the conditions that led to its demise. The wreckage of the Endurance is located over 3,000 meters below the surface of the Weddell Sea, making it a challenging feat to explore. The team used a remotely operated underwater vehicle to capture high-resolution images of the ship's remains, which revealed that the vessel is in a remarkable state of preservation. Despite being submerged for over a century, the Endurance's hull is still largely intact, with much of its rigging and equipment still visible. The ship's anchor is still attached, and even some of the crew's personal belongings, including clothing and a typewriter, have been found in the wreckage. Number 10. Volcano that erupts solid gold Mount Erebus is a volcano located on Ross Island in Antarctica, and it is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. What makes this volcano truly fascinating is the fact that it erupts solid gold. The volcano was first discovered by explorer Sir James Clark Ross in 1841 and was named after his ship, the HMS Erebus. It has been studied by scientists for decades, and they have made many groundbreaking discoveries about the unique nature of this volcano. One of the most unusual things about Mount Erebus is the fact that it is a persistently active volcano. It has been erupting continuously for over 40 years, with the most recent eruption occurring in 2021. During these eruptions, the volcano spews out a wide range of gases and minerals, including sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and gold. Yes, you read that right. Gold. Mount Erebus is one of the few volcanoes on Earth that is known to erupt solid gold. The gold is contained within the magma that is expelled during eruptions, and it is often found in small nuggets or in the form of tiny particles that can be extracted from the volcanic rock. Scientists are still trying to understand why Mount Erebus erupts gold. Some believe that the gold is formed through a process known as vapor phase transport, which involves the movement of gold-rich gases through the volcano's magma chamber. Others suggest that the gold is carried to the surface in the form of tiny droplets that are then solidified by the extreme cold temperatures of Antarctica. Despite the fact that Mount Erebus spews out gold, it is not a particularly valuable source of the precious metal. The amount of gold that is ejected during each eruption is relatively small, and it is often dispersed over a wide area, making it difficult to extract. Nevertheless, the discovery of solid gold coming out of a volcano is truly remarkable and has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. Number 9. Oldest Sperm in Antarctica Antarctica has been known to surprise scientists and researchers with its ancient and unique discoveries. The latest discovery that has been making headlines is the finding of the oldest sperm in Antarctica. The discovery was made by an international team of researchers who were studying the fossils of marine creatures found in Antarctica's Seymour Island. The team discovered the fossilized sperm of a tiny creature that lived in the waters surrounding Antarctica around 50 million years ago. The creature belonged to the annelids, the group of animals that includes earthworms and leeches. These species lived during the early Eocene period, a time when rhinos, sheep, and horses first appeared on Earth. The fossilized sperm was found inside a cocoon that was produced by the annelid. The cocoon, which is similar to the ones produced by earthworms today, was found in a layer of rock that dates back to the Eocene epoch, a period known for its warm climate and high sea levels. This particular cell also survived because of the cocoon and extreme cold weather. The researchers used powerful microscopes to study the fossilized sperm and found that it was around 50 micrometers long and had a long tail with a helix-like structure. The sperm was remarkably well-preserved and the researchers were able to study its morphology in detail. The discovery of the fossilized sperm has raised many questions about the reproductive biology of these ancient creatures. The researchers are now trying to understand how the sperm was able to survive for millions of years and what it can tell us about the evolution of annelid reproduction. The fossils found in Seymour Island have previously revealed the presence of a diverse range of marine creatures, including penguins, whales, and giant turtles. Number 8. Mummified Penguins In recent years, scientists have discovered something quite unusual in the icy continent. Recently, a scientist made a fascinating discovery while conducting research in Antarctica, a colony of mummified penguins. The scientist, Stephen Emsley, 
a biology professor at the University of North Carolina at Wilmington, was on a mission to study the diets of Adelie penguins in Antarctica. During his research, he came across a colony of penguins that had been naturally mummified by the harsh conditions of the continent. According to Emsley, the mummified penguins are believed to be at least 800 years old. The birds are thought to have died due to climate change, particularly a massive environmental shift in the region that occurred around 200 years ago. The shift caused the penguins' natural habitats to change drastically, and they were unable to adapt to the new conditions, leading to their demise. The researchers believe that these six specimens represent one of only three known species of mummified penguins that lived during the last ice age. These species include the Eudiptes chrysocolla, modeled penguin, and Eudiptes pygosilus papawa, New Holland penguin. The team also found evidence that these birds were eating other organisms such as mussels, small fish, kelp, seaweed, and other plants. These plants grew near shorelines where food was scarce during low tide seasons like winter and spring. The mummified penguins were found in a natural mummification site, a relatively dry area located on the eastern side of the continent, known as Cape Irizar. The penguins were preserved in the permafrost, with their feathers, beaks, and even their stomach contents well preserved. The discovery of the mummified penguins is significant because it provides researchers with valuable insight into the climate and environmental changes that have occurred in Antarctica over the years. The mummified penguins are also helping scientists better understand the diet and behavior of Adelie penguins, which are still present in the region today. Number 7. Antarctic Pyramids The idea of pyramids in Antarctica might sound like something out of a science fiction movie. But there are claims that a pyramid-like structure has been discovered on this remote and icy continent. The discovery was made on Google Earth in 2016 by Argentine researcher Marcelo Igazusta, who spotted a pyramid-like structure that measures around 200 meters in height, located near the coast of Antarctica. The structure was later named the Pyramid and quickly became a topic of interest and debate among conspiracy theorists and archaeologists. The pyramid's existence has been met with skepticism and controversy, with some dismissing it as a natural geological formation, while others speculate that it could be a man-made structure dating back to ancient civilizations or even extraterrestrial origins. The lack of information and research on the area only fuels the mystery surrounding the pyramid, leaving many questions still unanswered. One of the main challenges in studying the pyramid is the extreme weather and climate conditions in Antarctica making it difficult to conduct proper research and exploration. The area is also heavily restricted and monitored by various countries, further limiting access and investigations. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, some theorists and researchers argue that the structure's shape and location suggest that it could have been built by an advanced civilization with knowledge and technology beyond what was believed to exist during the time period. Others speculate that the pyramid could be linked to other pyramid-like structures found in other parts of the world, such as Egypt or South America. However, many experts are quick to point out that such claims lack scientific evidence and are based on speculation and conjecture. The possibility of natural geological formations, such as mountains or peaks, being misinterpreted as man-made structures cannot be ruled out. Number 6. Lake Vostok Lake Vostok is one of the most mysterious and fascinating bodies of water on our planet. It's a subglacial lake, which means that it's trapped beneath four kilometers of ice in the heart of Antarctica. The lake has been completely isolated from the rest of the world for millions of years, and its waters are believed to be some of the purest on Earth. Scientists have been studying Lake Vostok for decades, and the more they learn about it, the more intriguing it becomes. The lake is massive, with a surface area of over 12,000 square kilometers, making it one of the largest lakes in the world. However, it's not just the size of the lake that makes it remarkable. It's what's inside that has scientists excited. The waters of Lake Vostok have been cut off from the rest of the world for an estimated 15 million years, and scientists believe that this has allowed a unique ecosystem to develop. The lake's extreme isolation and the absence of sunlight mean that life in Lake Vostok is sustained by the nutrients that have been locked in the lake for millions of years. Despite the harsh conditions, scientists have discovered life forms in the lake, 
including bacteria and other microorganisms that are unlike any found anywhere else on Earth. These microorganisms have adapted to the extreme conditions of the lake, such as the high pressure and low temperatures. In 2012, a team of Russian scientists successfully drilled into the lake and collected water samples. The samples revealed a diverse array of microbial life, including bacteria and archaea. The discovery of life in such an extreme environment has opened up new avenues of research and raised questions about the origins of life on Earth and the possibility of life on other planets. It's time for today's subscriber pick. We saw this picture of what looks like a frozen castle. Maybe it's a proof of a long-lost civilization that once thrived on this icy terrain and that evidence of their existence is hidden beneath the frozen surface. What do you think of it? Is it really some civilization that remains? Tell us what you think in the comments below using the hashtag hash subscribers pick. Number 5. Blood Falls Blood Falls is a unique and mysterious natural wonder located in the McMurdo Dry Valleys of Antarctica. It is a bright red waterfall that flows from the Taylor Glacier, one of the largest glaciers in Antarctica. The waterfall has been studied for over a century, and it continues to baffle scientists with its unusual appearance and composition. The blood-red color of the waterfall comes from a high concentration of iron oxide, which is also known as rust. The Taylor Glacier is thought to contain an ancient pool of salt water that has been trapped beneath the ice for over a million years. The pool is rich in iron, which is gradually oxidized as it comes into contact with the air. The resulting iron oxide stains the glacier and gives the waterfall its distinctive crimson hue. Despite its unusual appearance, Blood Falls is not actually blood. In fact, the water is extremely salty and devoid of any organic matter. The high salinity of the water means that it does not freeze even in the harsh Antarctic winter, and it is also inhospitable to most forms of life. The discovery of Blood Falls dates back to 1911, when an Australian geologist named Griffith Taylor first encountered it during an expedition to the region. Taylor was fascinated by the waterfall's vivid color and suggested that it was caused by an algae bloom. However, subsequent studies showed that there was no living matter in the water. In recent years, scientists have been studying blood falls to learn more about the history of the region. By analyzing the composition of the water, they have been able to determine that it contains a unique microbial ecosystem. The microbes are able to survive in the highly saline environment by using sulfur and iron compounds as sources of energy. The microbial ecosystem of Blood Falls is of particular interest to astrobiologists who study the possibility of life on other planets. The extreme conditions of the waterfall provide insights into how life might evolve in environments that are inhospitable to most organisms. In addition to its scientific significance, Blood Falls is also a popular tourist destination. Number 4. Secret Cave There is a massive cave opening that was recently discovered by scientists. This hitherto unknown cave opening appears to lead to massive cave caverns on the interior, which might house species we've never seen before. This has led scientists to believe that life may be hidden within the extensive cave systems generated by the heat released from the 15 active volcanoes in Antarctica. Researchers are now doing everything they can to discover Antarctica's hidden animals and explore the continent's subterranean world. Another mysterious discovery is a bizarre concentric circular structure that was detected by Google Earth satellite in the isolated and unexplored parts of Antarctica. This huge, presumably man-made building has left scientists stunned and has sparked debates about what this strange structure might be. Despite being over 400 feet long, scientists have been unable to get any more precise images of the mysterious construction that is lost in the arid wastes of Antarctica. Could this construction be evidence of a long-ago complex with walls between rooms that was utilized by prehistoric humans? Or is it a natural phenomenon that we have yet to discover? While some connections have been found, there is currently no known natural phenomena that may account for such peculiar geometric structures. Number 3. Dinosaur Fossil Antarctica may be known for its icy terrain and freezing temperatures. But did you know that this continent was once home to a diverse group of dinosaurs? That's right. Fossils of these prehistoric creatures have been discovered in the southernmost continent, revealing new insights about the evolution and distribution of life on Earth. In recent years, 
paleontologists have made several significant discoveries in Antarctica, including the identification of a new dinosaur species. The fossils, which belong to a group of dinosaurs called theropods, were discovered in the James Ross Island area of the Antarctic Peninsula and date back to the late Cretaceous period, about 70 to 100 million years ago. The newly identified dinosaur named Cryolophosaurus was a large carnivorous theropod that walked on two legs and had a distinctive crested skull. Its name, which means frozen crest lizard, is a nod to both its icy habitat and its unique physical characteristics. The discovery of Cryolophosaurus challenged previous assumptions about the distribution of dinosaurs in the Southern Hemisphere and provided new evidence for the existence of diverse ecosystems in Antarctica during the late Cretaceous period. But Cryolophosaurus is not the only dinosaur that has been discovered in Antarctica. Other fossils found on the continent include those of the herbivorous sauropods, as well as the small bird-like theropods. But that's not all. The researchers also found a petrified egg on Seymour Island, which was shockingly 66 million years old and nearly the size of a deflated American football. This was the first egg ever discovered in Antarctica, and it belonged to a large marine lizard or snake that coexisted with dinosaurs. The egg, known as The Thing, is preserved in a Chilean museum and is one of the most amazing objects ever unearthed in the icy continent. The extremely weak mineralization of the egg's shell indicates that it belonged to an ancient reptile, and its size provides clues as to how enormous these animals may have been. This one-of-a-kind discovery in Antarctica provides us with a unique window into the globe millions of years ago. These fossils have also shed light on the evolution and behavior of these prehistoric creatures and have helped scientists better understand the complex ecosystems that existed in Antarctica during the Age of Dinosaurs. Number 2. Neumeyer Station 3 Located in Attica Bay, Antarctica, Neumeyer Station the 3 is a German research facility operated by the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research. The station was officially opened in 2009, replacing its predecessor, Neumeyer Station 2. The station serves as a gateway to scientific research in Antarctica, providing researchers with access to a unique environment that is crucial for understanding the Earth's climate and its evolution. The station is equipped with state-of-the-art scientific instruments and infrastructure to conduct a wide range of research activities, including atmospheric and oceanic observations, remote sensing, and geophysics. One of the most important research areas at the station is climate research. The Antarctic continent is a key player in the global climate system, and Neumeyer Station 3 provides scientists with a unique platform to study the interactions between the atmosphere, ocean, and ice. Researchers at the station also study the effects of climate change on the Antarctic environment and its wildlife, such as penguins and seals. Neumeyer Station 3 is also home to a wide range of other research activities. The station houses a microbiology laboratory for studying extremophilic microorganisms, which are organisms that can survive in extreme environments. The laboratory is used to study the unique microbial communities found in Antarctica, which may hold clues to the origins of life on Earth and the potential for life on other planets. In addition to scientific research, Neumeyer Station III also serves as a logistical hub for other research stations in Antarctica. The station provides supplies, equipment, and support to other stations, helping to facilitate scientific research across the continent. Despite its remote location and harsh climate, Neumeyer Station 3 is home to a small but dedicated team of scientists and support staff. The station operates year-round, with a team of up to 50 people during the summer and 10 to 15 people during the winter. Number 1. Antarctic Shrimp In 2010, a team of scientists from NASA and the British Antarctic Survey announced a surprising find. Tiny shrimp living in the waters beneath the Antarctic ice. The discovery of these shrimp, which are less than an inch long, was a shock to scientists who believed that the harsh conditions of the Antarctic would make it nearly impossible for life to thrive. The shrimp, known as ice shrimp or krill, were found living in a network of underwater caves that extend for hundreds of miles beneath the Antarctic ice sheet. The shrimp, with its brilliant orange and pink coloring, was a distant relative to other shrimp species. Its discovery changed our perspective on how creatures might survive in extreme conditions. 
This hardy little animal could survive in water around 600 feet below the Antarctic ice, where temperatures can drop to sub-freezing levels. As the camera was brought to the surface, scientists also discovered the tentacle of a jellyfish, further indicating that a wide variety of life forms persist under the icy Antarctic surface. These unexpected discoveries show that there is still so much to learn about the natural world, and that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way to thrive. The caves, which are formed by the movement of seawater under the ice, provide a haven for a wide variety of marine life, including fish, jellyfish, and other shrimp species. However, the ice shrimp are unique in that they are the only known species of crustacean to live in such extreme conditions. The discovery of the ice shrimp has led to new questions about the biodiversity of the Antarctic and how such life forms are able to survive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. Scientists believe that the shrimp may have adapted to the extreme conditions by developing specialized enzymes and proteins that allow them to thrive in cold, dark waters. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.